Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm Mr. Boy from the Tripod and I'll try to keep this quick. Well, well last week I was in Pit of Sauron doing some runs for the Battle Hill and my inventory was filled. And I was like, what the fuck, don't, why, don't, why don't I buy a Mammoth? And I was like, ah, oh, it's, not, it's not worth it. It's not worth it for the amount of gold I have right now on me. It's just not worth it for 30 seconds of going down and in the Ice Crown Raid, sell my stuff and get back in, get back up to Pit of Sauron. It just wasn't worth it. So I thought about, why don't I get an Argent Gruntling? I had that on my old account. During Wrath of the Lich King, I played a hunter then. Uh, I had that, and it was pretty awesome. It was basically a companion acting like a vendor. Anyway, it's pretty cool. So I decided to get it on my rogue. And I went back to the jousting quest, the old Argent tournament quest, the valiant quests, the champion quests. It was pretty awesome. Anyway, nostalgia, of course, speaking right now. But um, it was pretty awesome. And while I was jousting, one thing led to another. And in my head, there was a constant battle like... What happened to aerial combat? What happened to mountable combat? What happened in Wrath of the Lich King? And in this um, in this video, I'm going to explain this and talk about the subject. Hope you guys enjoy it. How oh, Wrath of the Lich King, considered by most the best expansion World of Warcraft had to offer. And among all the new cool features it brought, one of these attracted most of the attention. Mount combat. What the hell? That sounds so cool. That sounds really, really, really cool. Well, it was printed on the box. People expected Mount Combat in this new expansion, and they sure got it. But in small doses, and most of the community eventually grew to hate it. The Mount Combat, or Vehicle Combat, however you want to name it, ground or aerial, had a strong presence in both PvP and PvE. So let's take a look at the PvE side first. Alright, so vehicle combat in PvE was present throughout Wrath. We first got a taste of it in random quests throughout Northrend, and personally, I loved it. Then we got around the dungeons. One of these would become the most infamous dungeon ever created. Yep, I'm talking about the Oculus. That dungeon still gives me the chills. Oh, no, 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 no. Not the, oh, it's the Oculus slash leave chills. But the chills of being grouped up with people that left right after they pressed enter dungeon and saw that it's the Oculus. Well, one of the reasons for this might have been that the whole dungeon relies on mounting up on different colored dragons with different abilities in an effort to kill the late guardian Eragos. I thought it was awesome. Well, at, at that time, of course, but it turned out to be a big, big failure. People had to learn three new rotations, aside from the ones of their class, in order to kill one dungeon boss. There were different combos for, dra for the dragons, and if someone didn't know how to use them, bam, you had 100% wipe on Eragos. This is what made people leave the dungeon instantly and wait 15 minutes to get into another one, rather than completing the Oculus. This new aerial combat thing, Blizzard thought it would take off, but it didn't, and it ended up never being touched ever again since Wrath of the Lich King. But it wasn't the only thing that included aerial combat, we've seen it in Eye of Eternity as well, a, a one boss raid in Wrath of the Lich King, where we fight, uh, who was it? Uh, we fight Malagos, yes, Malagos. But at the end of the fight, the last part of the fight, everyone mounted dragons and started spamming the damage abilities at Malagos. It wasn't as bad as the Oculus, but still, raids could get wiped by it easily. In conclusion, aerial combat uh, shouldn't be part of any dungeons or raids, but if they would be added, they should follow the example of the Argent tournament, with vehicle combat being part of fun daily quests and chain quests. Oh. But don't take my word for granted because the Argent Tournament isn't without its own flaws and we'll delve in them in just a minute. Okay, and now for the Argent Tournament. It has made its first appearance in patch 3.1 right after the Secrets of Udwa, which in their turn also featured vehicle combat, which people found strange at the time but grew to love it just because of the simple abilities the vehicles had and the epic first boss, the Leviathan. During patch 3.1, the place was pretty much under construction, and you had your faction daily quests, I believe, and two quests from a goblin that wanted you to gather wooden stone. Once they got there, players were greeted by a mounted ground combat system called jousting. It was first used in the daily quests around the tournament grounds. It was just awesome! A gulp of fresh air and a new fun mechanic to be used. 
I for one enjoyed everything the Argent tournament had to offer, but unfortunately, that enjoyment was destroyed once 3.2 hit. Patch 3.2 brought the call of the Crusader, with the Colosseum being built, well, already built, more dailies were available as well as a new dungeon, Trial of the Champion, and a new raid, Trial of the Crusader, with its heroic version, Trial of the Grand Crusader. The raid itself was fine, apart from the fact that there were no trash mobs, and apparently this idea of a, this idea of a raid tier with no trash upset some people. Anyway, this is where Blizzard made a mistake. They put jousting, the fun part of this, in the dungeon. Don't get me wrong, I loved it. I loved jousting in the ju dungeon. I thought it was the best thing ever. I was jousting the shit out of these bosses on my Orgrimmar wolf. But unfortunately, the Argent tournament is considered by most a world event. And there are a lot, and I mean a lot of people dedicated to raiding and clearing PvE content whom don't even bother with any world events, daily quests or other mechanics apart from the raid bosses. And so... The whole jousting thing wasn't appealing to them. Problem is that they needed the dungeon for the gear and they had to know how to joust in order to progress in the dungeon. With a tournament, tournament offering tutorials and tips on how to do that, the result was groups wiping and wiping and wiping on the same boss because someone wasn't stacking their shields and was getting beat down by the boss or because people removed the shield layers with charge instead of shield breaker. It just didn't work out, but um, the, but fortunately, jousting wasn't that hard, and people actually started to learn how and to, how to it, in order to complete that dungeon. It wasn't as bad as the Oculus, but you still got people that left from time to time. My personal opinion: there are people saying that Argent Tournament is a complete failure and catered to the casual players. This is my response to them: Fuck you. The Argent Tournament was one of the reasons Wrath of the Lich King was that awesome. The fact that so many players thought the new jousting thing was shitty just because they couldn't learn how to use four abilities correctly is saddening really. But that's the unfortunate truth. Blizzard added a mechanic just to meant just to be for fun in a PvE environment, in a PvE serious environment. And many many people were pretty pissed off about it. But Wrath of the Lich King's PvE was a testing ground for vehicle mechanics and battles. One that I say should stay in the fun side of World of Warcraft. If this new mechanic would have ever taken off and people would want more of it, I really don't see any way to create content specifically designed for jousting apart from a tournament setting like this one. Maybe a small arena in Stormwind and one in Orgrimmar where people may joust in peace. Unfortunately, the Argent tournament mechanics have been forgotten since and then... Since then, and well, people moved on. As long as Blizzard will never again mix up fun mechanics and features with the serious PvE side of the game, any new mechanic is more than welcome, in my opinion. Let's talk about the PvP side now. PvP also was a test ground to see how people would react when you mixed up the already epic PvP of World of Warcraft with awesome wall shattering demolishers. We see these siege engines in the two new battlegrounds at the time, Strand of the Ancients and Isle of Conquest, also in the PvP zone Wintergrasp. They are, well, as their name suggests, used to demolish buildings, gates, walls and towers with no real strategy apart from players grouping up along with one siege vehicle in order to protect it and let it do its job, provided the player that controlled it knew how to aim at something important and press 1 or 2. The vehicle feature was just awesome. My first reaction was, wow, this is really cool. Battlefield found its way into World of Warcraft. How awesome is that? There are players still hating on the fact that vehicles are still in the game, but you cannot please the whole community, unfortunately. One fault of Wintergrass regarding the vehicle combat, that is, is that the vehicles would usually end up dead even before reaching the inner sanctum to breach it. There were so many people deathmatching the shit out of them, killing every vehicle before it got enraged to do anything that players usually carried bombs around to place on the gates themselves. Anyhow, here is my opinion about it. Vehicle combat is just awesome. It adds a sense of something big, not just players running around, capping flags and killing each other, but sieging a base with a more or less tactical approach. Coordination and skill is what makes a vehicle player good, and PvP guilds that play raided battlegrounds know what I'm talking about. All in all, it's just awesome. 
I just can't say anything else. Pure awesomeness. I just wish they would have added more of these battlegrounds because unfortunately we haven't gotten any since Wrath of the Lich King. Fun thing is, is that PvP battlegrounds like these is that they are never forgot forgotten. And we always keep coming back with a higher level in each ca in each expansion. Now that I talked about both PvP and PvE, it's time to wrap this up. Vehicle combat in PvP, yes, as long as it stays simple, it adds a dynamic feel to the environment. Vehicle combat in PvE, a very big no. The boss mechanics and tactics are already overwhelming for a few people, and it might turn LFR into a white fest. Of course, if you, find, if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please like, subscribe and share it all over people's faces. Because let's face it, I'm awesome. A big thank you for everyone that supports me and my videos, and also a big thank you for everyone that watched my latest live stream on Twitch, and that also followed me. I love you all.